Okay, let's go ahead and hunt that Roggy. Ooh, not the urgent quest yet. I keep doing that. Obnoxious Lord, Noxious Monster. Oh dear, the Lord's son heard a great Roggy was in the flooded forest and went out to hunt it. What a fool. Surely he'll run at the first sign of danger. Can you hunt the creature before my Lord, Lord gets hurt? Sure. When is the first title update? Late April, they said. Yep, late April is when they said the first title update's gonna hit. There is information about what's gonna be in that title update, but I don't wanna talk about it on stream in case some people haven't seen so fast. Yeah, I think there's a reason for that, but we'll get into that later on in the game, I think. Oh, he looks really good. <laughs> The camera angles on these cutscenes are really well done. As evidenced by that. That was pretty freaky looking. Venomous Commander, Great Ragi. Alright. Love you, cat dog. You're gonna stay here. These intro cutscenes are great, I agree. I think so too. Uchi, if you have any inkling as to what what areas I missed, feel free and let me know and I'll try and explore them this time. I want more slag toth materials. Oh, the hammer still spins. I love it so much. And the other one's leaving. Yeah, he is. That one's not. Look how cool this thing looks. I love this hammer. Ugh. All the way back to Freeman Knight. It was a deeper forest area, taller trees and such. Gotcha. That was a delayed hit, my goodness. It KO'd it in one hit. I feel like my hunter fits in with this environment and this armor with this hammer. Alright, looks like Roggy's up ahead. Along with some more Slag Toth. He must be up there. I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to turn off the map. I don't mind how it looks, it's just kind of large. I guess I'm also kind of large and in front of it, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I forgot to look at the hammer switch skill. Whoops, that's too bad. If we get a chance here, I actually might go back to camp and look at the hammer switch skill. Not much green sharpness on this weapon. Is that remote for shooting poison? I guess they used to do that too, didn't they? That's a crazy move, it really is. <laughs> we got that remover right out of the air. You wanna know why, Uchi? Because it's Ryozo's favorite.
There we go. Um, before we go on this mount, let's go ahead and take an antidote. And sharpen. I hope we don't run out of time. If we run out of time, I'm going to feel kind of bad. Ah, come on. Got him. Oh, nope, I just ran out of time. Wasted my round. Feels bad, man. All because of this little Roggy. I would have gotten it. Boop. I was one boop too short. here. This gun is so cool. Or this, this gun hammer is so cool. It has a lot of Rogi. Wow. I haven't seen this many in one place since like first gen. Holy crap. So many. Dude, and Hammer's got that busted wire fall too. Did you see that? You get like a, you gain some some air you gain some air upon using the wire fall and then charging out of it. Oh wait, I did equip a switch skill. That's not the same move. I don't remember what the switch skill does. <laughs> Yeah, that move has armor. I think that's part of it, yeah. It's insane. Interesting. So you can charge that move too. Hmm. I want to read the description of it again in a second. Feels so good. <laughs> Ouch. Uh oh. It's already weak. It's already limp. Watch this. That's insane. The fact that you can wirefall and just do that is just absurd. <laughs> a little bit absurd. <laughs> Granted, it's lowering, but like, wow, that move says crazy. Imagine a Gen 1 Hunter looking at what you just did. 
They'd be pretty surprised. Hey, Duckwood Quackers, welcome. That was pretty fun. I like hammer in this game. Thanks, B Train. How has Bonk Simulator been? We just started playing Hammer right now. Well, I mean, we, we played it a little bit earlier today. Or earlier yesterday, I think. We're going to be using it for the next quest or two. I think it's one of the weapons I feel pretty immediately comfortable with. <laughs> hey, Alternate Alpha. Welcome back. Hammer's very strong, Arise. Seems that way. I like this one. This, this hammer's element is nuts for whatever rarity this hammer is. Let's take a look at what rarity it says this hammer is, but it's gotta be nuts. I'm having fun. I'm liking this game right now. <laughs> you finished the main story in for you? Congrats. Nice. Yeah, gun hammer's back, Flowey. It's, my, it's one of my favorites. So this is a rarity two hammer with 37 element. Have you seen the Rogi Dual Blades? No, I just beat Rogi. Let's take a look at him. Desperado. Dude, they look sick. <laughs> They're little guns. 10 poison. That is pretty cool. Let's go through the weapon trees and see if we've unlocked anything new that we haven't noticed yet. <laughs> Looks like we're unlocking a bunch of rarity 2 stuff right now. Baroth greatsword looking good. Kazu greatsword looking gross as usual. <laughs> Buster sword. Wow. The Aknasan Blade looks incredible. It's a fire one too. 20 fire. That's pretty good. I wonder if all of his weapons are fire element. There's the Tetranodon Sword too. 110 raw with green sharpness and 10 defense isn't bad. It looks really neat too. These weapon designs are really nice. Jaw Blade. Hack Blade. This is a jaggy. This is a new design. It's a jaggy sword. The Gombi Great Sword. There's been one of those before, right? This looks nice. That is not new. Oh, it's not. It's not a new greatsword. Oh, okay. Never mind. That design's so nostalgic. Oh, I guess I just didn't play enough third gen. Probably. <laughs> what? What is this made of? What is this thing? That thing looks amazing. What is that enough? We can just forge that. We're making that. What is this thing? What the heck? Dude, it's just a seashell greatsword. That's amazing. Big slap. Dude, I love it. We're not going to use it for this next hunt because we're using hammer, but wow, I'm happy I made it. That's so cool looking. This is fun. This is a fun part of the game is just seeing what different designs are in. Looks more like a hunting horn. I can see why. Sleepy Shell Blade. Cool. Okay, that's all the great swords. I haven't looked at the sword and shields in a while here. There's the Dirty Baron. Looks just as good as it always did. Nice. 17 poison's pretty decent. Frost Edge. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. Was this in World? I can't remember. Sick. To try it on sword and shield looks pretty beefy. It weren't. All right. Kazu Razor. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen that design before. Carapace Mace. Classic. Renoplo Sword and Shield. That's kind of neat. Classic Banabra Sword and Shield. That's a lot of green sharpness. That looks pretty nice, actually. We can probably make that. I mean, it's low raw, but that much sharpness looks like pretty, pretty cozy. We may make that. We'll see. Here's one that's red. It's got a pretty decent amount of green sharpness as well, but fire element to it. Is there a thunder? And... Hmm. It looks like there's probably a frost, a thunder and para and fire version of it, maybe. Sleepy shell sword. Cool. 
Neat. Agnesom Lance looks nice. That was in the, in the demo. Rugged Lance, Baroth Lance, nice. Longhorn Spear. Plo Shasta. <laughs> Kuru Spear. Azure Crest, there's the Baggy Lance. Not very much raw or sleep. That's pretty rough. <laughs> See, like, this is what I expect out of early game element. Nine fire or something like that. The fact that I have an, a hammer that has 37 fire is absurd. Actasom's Lance is pretty decent with 11. What's your favorite monster in the entire series? Nargakuga. I guess we already looked through the hammers, didn't we? Whoa! That's new, isn't it? <laughs> that thing looks nuts! I wonder if it spins. It looks like it should spin. I don't know if it will, but it looks like it should. That's cool. Dang. How much poison? 27 poison. I guess it partially could have so much element because it's a slow-hitting weapon. But even still, even still, it's just kind of weird to see that much element on something, or that much status, rather. 42, my goodness. I haven't looked at the switch axes at all yet. Ooh, Delux Sail. That's cool. Power file with a little bit of water and green. It looks neat. Kazu Axe. This is brand new, too. 23 Thunder. That's a lot. So on the weapons where it, there is a lot of element, it does seem like it trades the raw down. But it makes sense. Element file. Arzuros Axe with a poison file. 120 raw. Like that the small monsters are getting more equipment. It is pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> this axe is called the Axnasam. <laughs> That's pretty great. Well done. Mizu, Ketchup, Raki, and Zeno, your top four personally. Some of my other favorites are Zenogre, Terra Shogun, Sienitar, Molten Tigrex. Long Year Axe. I think this is new, unless I've never seen it before. Another element file. Not super big element, though. Sleepy Shell Slice. That is quite the design right there. It's half new, the Lagambi one. I'm assuming maybe there was one in, in GU. Snow Bear and Lagambi, but never had these colors. Gotcha. Camera Glaive, Leaping Glaive, Acnesom Pike. We already looked at some of these. They're pretty nice. There's what we just made, which is the uh, the Alteroth Glaive. There's a nice Benabra one, too. Pretty cool looking. Not, lots of nice green on this one. This might be worth making. Kind of weak raw, but... Hmm. Might be worth making. Just for the green. Getting Blast this early in the game is also pretty crazy. 20 Blast is not anything to sneeze at. Granted, really bad sharpness. Reversal Shot. Arzuros Gun. Merino Burst. Wind Thief Crossbow. This thing looks sick. Did you miss the Longsword look at? Nope, I have not looked at Longsword yet. Rapid Caster. I'm curious about this one. It looks neat. Ooh, there's a Lagambi one. That looks nice. That bow gun. I don't know what this dude's saying. It's funny, whatever he's saying. Cool. Longsword is next. All right, Kamara Blade. The Actinosom Saber looks really cool. We'll probably make some of these. So does the Ivory Rabbit. Castello Scythe. That's new, I think. I don't think Baroth's ever had a longsword. Guardian Sword is back. I love the Guardian Sword. That's pretty cool. Baroth's sword looks beefy. Iron Katana. 
eager cleaver. Nefutis was talking about this earlier. I'll probably make this one. Much like Naf, I have some fond memories of some of these de some of these designs from from Freeman Knight. There's the Rogi sword. Looks pretty nice. I don't know if that's new or not. It might be. Ananta blade. I saw Angani looking at this earlier. This is a baggy longsword that has paralysis element to it, which is kind of interesting. It's not new? Okay. Arzuros Nagi Naginata. Wind Thief Scimitar. This looks so cool. I wish it had higher raw. <laughs> looks like eventually it could. Neat stuff. Shh, hello TV. I, know, I guess most people have probably seen that in the demo. I'm trying not to talk about things we haven't seen in the playthrough, just so that if others are watching and they're trying to avoid spoilers, they they don't know. I don't know. It's 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 gonna we'll, we'll kind of play spoilers by ear. I don't really want to talk about stuff later in the game, but that one's been in the demo, so it's kind of hard to t avoid talking about. Should we get back to three? You wish there was hub on 3DS though. Yeah, a lot of folks wish that. Here's a Deluxe Wide Gun Lance. Really small green sharpness though. Agnesom Gun Lance. Normal with some good green. Looks decent. That's a cool design. Really cool design, actually. Full Voltage. Looks good. Never been my favorite Gun Lance design, but I've made it in a couple games now. Wyvern Bone Gun Lance. Baroth Loader. The Baroth weapons all have such huge raw. Yeah, there's a couple different versions of these Banabra weapons. This one doesn't have any element to it. This one has Ice Element, and this one has Paralysis. They're all the same shot type? Yeah, they're all normal shot. Sleepy Shell Gun. Here's a wide gun lance. Hmm. What gun lance do I want right now? I would love a long gun lance with decent green sharpness, but there's not much decent green sharpness to go around right now. Any weapon. Looks like Kezu gun lance is long. Maybe the baggy gun lance. It looks cool. It looks like it has an up another upgrade coming up. Maybe that one. Thanks, Uchi. Almost done looking through all the weapons here. The camera chorus. Saw this Arzuro's horn earlier. The metal bagpipe. The sand pipe. The frog flute. This thing looks cool. So does the wind thief horn. Kulu Maso. Oh man. Poor Kulu. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. I wonder if this still sounds the same way it did in the old games. One day, one day Kulu will get some respect. I love this horn. We'll have to make the Kezu horn at some point. Vicello Nulo. Why don't I start making why don't I start making a, a wish list? Maggie a charm. Kazu horn. Do I want to make any other horns? Probably not the Kulu one. <laughs> I don't know. Kulu looks okay. Doesn't have attack boost. Frog flute looks decent. might do the frog horn. You can just craft it too, so that makes it appealing. Haven't played horn yet. Kazoo switch axe looks cool. It really does spazzing. I was looking at that a minute ago. I'm going to add this to wishlist even though we have everything to make it, just so we kind of can think about it. All right, charge blades. I haven't looked at any of these. Camera charge blade. Tetranodon's charge blade. Impact file with a little bit of green and 100. Hyper guard. <laughs> kind of funny how they'll change up the names for certain weapons. This one looks pretty good. That's a lot of green for this point in the game. That looks pretty nice. The Wind Thief Sickle also looks amazing. Whoa! 
Whoa, that's scary looking almost. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's just a poison tree. That's really interesting. That's new, it looks like. That's from Jen. Oh, it is? I didn't know. That's cool. Ooh, this bear off charge blade looks cool too. That shield looks pretty nice. Cuddly cat. This is neat too. All right, that's charge blade for now. Kazu syringe, classic. What does the wishlist do? So the wishlist helps you track down the materials that you need for it. So if I back out here, if I go to my wishlist here, I can see the things I need to collect for it. Now, these three weapons is kind of funny because I have everything I need to make them. <laughs> but in general, it lets you keep track of like how many more things you need to gather from certain monsters in order to make the weapons or armor pieces that you want. It's really nice. I'm mainly putting them in there just so I have a list of things I want to make. And we'll probably go through and make some of them later on. I'm just not, I'm not making them immediately so I don't overspend on materials or anything. Shotgun Viper. Remobra tree, a Remobra light bow gun. Barrow barrel, this is a classic as well. Deviation left, right, mild, yuck. How did you like hunting Aknasom? I liked it, I did it with Hammer and Hammer was pretty strong on it. Hey Biggie, yeah, I'm definitely still up. We got time, time to go still. I thought he was neat, I'd like to hunt him some more. Wind Thief L Bowgun. This looks pretty strong. Cross Blitz. That's it. Camera Bow. Roggy Revolver. What a classic. Pierce Rapid Rapid. We'll have to make this one. I like this one. This is a 100 raw recovery arc shot. We want Affinity Arc Shot if we can, but Pierce Rapid Rapid looks nice. It's a 100. Let's keep comparing. 110 with spread with Arcshot Brace. Here's Arcshot Affinity, but with a Pierce Bow. Feel like high rank is gonna give you really tough times? Maybe so, we'll see. I've seen that give, I've seen our, um, Aknasom give a couple people a hard time so far. Here's Pierce Rapid Rapid with 110 raw and 10% affinity, nice, from Kulu. Kazu Bow has recovery, pretty high element with spread, nice spread elemental bow. 120 with spread level three. I haven't played with a spread bow yet. Here's the baggy bow. Rapid spread rapid. All three of these bug bows are pierce bows. Feline bow. Wacky design there. Um, let's put in the Kulu bow. Maybe the maybe the Kazu bow. And maybe the Kulu bow. Okay, we'll have to go through the other ones and make a wish list later, but that's enough of a wish list for now. Okay, we're gonna switch back to Hammer and we're gonna do Royal Lugroth. I need to buy raw meat. Hmm. Reminds me of Yukumo? I think it's supposed to. I don't think you can buy raw meat from this guy. Nope. Maybe from Rondine. Have you, have you had your owl dude attack bro ninja? Yes, I have. I saw you tell Schmeg to do that earlier in their stream, and so I tried it out. From my paws to your pocket. Michelle, thanks for always taking buddies with me on the hunt. On behalf of all the buddies here, I'd like to give you a token of thanks. Don't stop here, though. Lag an apple. Nice. There we go. There's some raw meat. Whoops. 
overshot the the canteen. sing with it already? I will someday. I promise I will. Alright, I'm ready for the flex this time. If we get the big flex, I'm, f flex, I'm flexing for Uchi because Uchi wants it. I did it once, but it wasn't like ready. There. I have no idea what that looked like. I don't know what it looked like with that. I've not rehearsed that. That was a candid flex. Let's go! <laughs> Go hunt that royal Ludroth. Spongy Oasis. You know how royal Ludroth hide is all spongy and absorb lots of water, right? If we get a bunch of it, then desert farmers will never have to worry about watering their crops ever again. I'm a genius. Who gave us this? Whose idea is this? Desert Inventor. Hmm. Okay. Nice mad cow disorder. Nice. Visit the Sandy Plains. I love the Sandy Plains. It's my favorite map so far. It's massive. It really is. Oh, well done steak. I don't want those. I want rations. Whatever. Have to cook something else for the rations, I guess. I know box is starting to look good. You'll see, Yumu. You'll see. I like the instrumentation in the intro to this map. Map's quite pretty. Oh. 
Sounds like a, like a kabuki theater. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that's what's in what it takes inspiration from. The petalize are your charms and rise. I don't think so. I think there are actual charms, but they come in they come in a little later. How's the game going? It's going well, Duke Chaka. Welcome. Good morning to you too. We're about to hunt our first Royal Ludroth. Oh, I missed. That could be worse. You too, B train. Cheers. All right, how'd they make this guy fight in this game, huh? That's supposed to have iframes, I think. I forgot to read the, the description for that switch skill again. Ooh, frames. Frames went down there. Slowly getting hang of the new weapons. Hammer is one of the ones I feel a little more comfortable with, yeah. But in general, yes, I'm getting a little more the hang of the controls and the weapons. That was cool. Whoops, I forgot to do this. I did this the wrong way. Oh well, whatever. Heart's broken. Turned off damage numbers, yep. I'm gonna have more fun if I just learn from looking at the monster's hit zones in the notes and practicing, I think. It's not that I think that they're like too easy or anything. I just I think they distract me from the hunt in a weird way. It's it's kinda odd. It's a weird me problem, I think. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, that was new. Whatever that just whatever that was, was a brand new move. There we go. Let's get sharpened off real quick. Did the Gunhammer always have that spinning chamber animation? In the newer games, it did, yes, Corbo Pollo. We can still jump a little bit there. Let's heal after that one. I like the music. <laughs> Angani, thank you for the raid. Welcome, friends. How are you guys doing tonight? Welcome, Aang. Ooh, wow, he changed color drastically. Nearly 12 hours of rise for you? Wow. Props, Aang, props. How was your stream? Where'd you guys end off? Can be back in it tomorrow too? Me too. I hope you rest well while you are resting in. Yeah, he's so tired. Look at him. Wow. Three Star Village explored the maps there and did a couple monsters and all five weapons on first arena. Nice. I did one of the first arena quests. I haven't done all five weapons though. I should.
Is it safe for you to watch your first Rise VOD, you think? Rise VOD? Um, it's all gonna be before you're- it's all gonna be before where you're- where you're at. We ended- we ended off last night with, like, Lagombi. With chat off, right? Probably so. There weren't any massive spoilers talked about, I don't think, but clearly there's so much you haven't known about the game. I, I don't, I'm not comfortable saying like 100% for sure, but you're, it's definitely all stuff you've already seen. I'm pretty sure. cool. Yeah, I think we were doing pretty well too, Uchi. Alright, cheers on Ghani. I'm glad you're loving it. Oh, I missed. All right, enjoy the VOD, Ing. It was really lovely to get to watch, come by and watch your watch your stream while you were live. I'll look forward to doing that tomorrow if I get to as well. Don't have any nightmares about green things, okay? swing i like that move to me that feels a little more useful than the big the big spin the spin hits more times but like that's an iframe move it goes through other attacks Oop. it's got kind of a pretty well-defined swing to it whereas the, the spin's a little more nebulous So cool. <laughs> Ooh, that spin. Whoa. That was a that was a that was a, a an air combo. So unless you have a wire bug ready for those moves, you're just gonna get smacked. Interesting addition to some movesets in this game. I want to see something real quick. What is he going to do if we go up here to sharpen? He's going to jump up here. Okay. Stop any. That was the air combo move again. Oh gosh. <laughs> That move is a lot faster than before. Look how fast that move is. Wow. Feels fun. This is a nice matchup. I would say the frames in there are un are not ideal, but that was totally playable. Definitely wouldn't want to iframe like a. I wouldn't want to iframe like an intense fight in there. I'll put it like that. But for regular combat, like when I'm when I'm not iframing for my life, I'm fine. I keep forgetting that in this game, the, the power charge stays active even when you sheath your weapon. In World, it did not do that, I don't think. I'm surprised it didn't hit me.
If you get hit, it goes away? I don't think so. Well, I tried to get hit there for you, but... Nope, it stays on. It's like a completely manual toggle. And when you manually toggle it, it automatically puts you back into a level 3 charge, no matter what charge you were at before in power state. So crazy. Where can you see the guild card? Plus button while you're in the hub. There you go. Ludra. Felt like a Ludra. I like his new moves. And he looks pretty nice. It's like, hammer feels just stacked. It just feels stacked. <laughs> Dash juice and spongy hides. Yeah, like, I can be at level 1 here. Like, I can just have my weapon out, and then all of a sudden, I'm in level 3 charge. That's crazy. That shortcut is insane. Demolish that Ludroth. Hammer be strong, dude. Nice, Yumu. <sighs> F for Poogie, we have Hoogie. 